Ignition sequence start. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel if you're returning. And today we're doing a gear review of the Massive Elements Jacket. Here it is labeled as the free eyewall jacket. But let me guarantee you one thing, this is definitely not free. That free stands for fire resistant element ensemble. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Definitely doing that off the top of my head. But normally this jacket ranges from 600 to $700. I got it for about six something at Cadillac.com, but from the actual massive supplier, it's ranging, I think I believe about at 692 before taxes and shipping. So that would land you above $700 for this jacket right in here. So you might be thinking, Gerald, why would you even buy this thing? This is costs more than a PS5 getting resold on a higher sell value before they were all available. And the answer is because I honestly, I'm an E6 with no dependence and I just can buy things, whatever I want. Thanks, Uncle Sam. But you might also wonder, Gerald, why did you get this? It's for the cold weather um, and it's fire resistant and everything, but you work and you're stationed in Hawaii. Um, and my reason for that is also um, for those of you who work in, you know, uh, server rooms are very cold. I definitely do not need this at all. But it is an excuse to buy this and do a review on it, throw it up on YouTube because I have not seen any other reviews here on YouTube using this. So um, of course the free stands for fire resistant element ensemble, eyewall, which is an intermediate weather outside layer. So let's just get into it. So we take it out of this wrapping, um, the material on this thing, um, it's very Gore-Tex-y, I would say. Kind of similar to what, how you would feel um, the material on like a snowboard jacket. Um, it would definitely be water resistant. So we're gonna test that later. And on the inside, you can see that um, it's pretty soft. So they're kind of this softer material, a little bit of fuzzy that's going on in there. Now you're probably wondering what makes this thing so special? Well, we're gonna find out. So normally those in the Army, Air Force, Space Force, whoever donned the OCP uniform, um, if they go to an outer weather jacket, most likely they're gonna go use this coyote fleece or something similar. Um, it's pretty similar to that of one of those North Face jackets with, um, you know, kind of that fuzziness here. And then you also have the padding. Um, and then you have your name tags that you can put with your rank on here. I did a review on this a couple years ago fairly warm and a comfortable uh, sweater or fleece as we call it. This is more for colder conditions. Uh, as you can see by the material, you can hear it. You have your Velcro for the branch of service, the last name and your rank. And it's a zip down. Coming down here, you have your two pockets that are zippered. Um, you also have a pocket up here on your chest that you can put something in here. Um, that is not on the fleece. The fleece only has two pockets in the front, um, which are not zippered. So um, a little easier to secure your things in this jacket. Um, and then if we look onto the side, you have your Velcro on the side, which the fleece does not have. So you're not wearing any unit patches or the American flag. And also on both of the sleeves, you have these flaps where you can put in your pens or anything else that's kind of shaped like a pen. Um, but you have two of them, opposed to just one that you would have on your blouse that's not the outside shell. This jacket is full fire resistant as well as water resistant. Um, and they must have really tested this thing. And on the back is a flap here. Velcro that you can pass through CVC extraction straps. Pretty wide opening there. Massive also claims that this fits easily over uniforms. It does not bunch under packs or body armor. So um, we're gonna test that. We're definitely gonna test that claim for the $700 jacket. This is a four-way stretch material, which makes it more comfortable. And it is a Battle Shield X fabric, which makes it fire resistant, windproof, flame proof, waterproof, and bulletproof. Not bulletproof. It's not bulletproof. That's one that's a couple thousand dollars more. Um, another thing that I like to point out on this is that there are actually wrist cuffs here. So if you look inside this, 
uh, just like snowboard jackets, it uh, encloses, and if you put your, um, what is this, a hand? Uh, another cool feature of this jacket are these internal wrist cuffs here. And it's more similar to a snowboard or ski jacket. The fleece does not have this. It's more just an open cuff. But, um, you know, more so this provides protection, doesn't allow any exposure to the elements. And then if you were to put a glove over this, you would have pretty good concealment. So I'm about 5'6", 170 pounds, and I got a medium short. Um, so it's pretty comparable to the sizing of the normal OCP blouses. Um, so I would say stick to your size, true sizing. <coughs> Golly. Um, I don't know how many takes I've tried to do, but I've done many without trying to cough because I popped positive for COVID yesterday. Oh my God, he does it from, oh my God. Well, you know what? I said the show must go on, um, and I'm still gonna push this video out. So this $700 jacket, is it worth it? We gotta put it to the test. If you guys remember, I did an OCP test when they first came out. I was in the Air Force, now I'm in the Space Force. So I'm gonna put this through the Air Force Space Force um, duty test, and we're gonna see if it holds up and if it's really worth the $700. I don't know what you guys think, but it did pass the Air Force Space Force test. So personally, me, um, I'm gonna give this a five monkey emojis out of five monkey emojis. I, this hasn't been done in a while. And hey, Kelly, Kelly. Uh, okay. And um, Kelly, she's gonna be giving it, I think a five monkey emoji faces out of five monkey emoji faces. So I think this is, I think this jacket's good to go. It's definitely an investment, and this dog is definitely getting bigger and bigger day by day. Um, thank you guys for watching. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching the video. Stay safe, keep grinding, and y'all take it easy.